morning. Thank you, citizens, for being here tonight, illustrating that you care enough to come out and educate yourselves about what the different candidates believe in this primary election. Well, first of all, the first issue I'm going to address, I'm sure is probably a question on all of your minds, because it's the question I get most often. How old is this guy? <laughs> I'm 24 years old, doing what I can do to make a difference by ensuring that this district is represented by a strong conservative leader who will work hard to be in tune and in touch with the needs of his constituents and will represent them in Indianapolis and their views and not just what he thinks. <coughs> Let me tell you a little bit about myself and uh, kind of introduce myself. I'm a firefighter in Penn Township. Been there for several years. Grew up in the family business, Walter Piano Company in Alcar. Done a lot of different things in my life, from working in an RV factory to kind of starting up my own business and being involved in a lot of different uh, political campaigns. Again, just doing what I could do, everything I could do to make a difference. Well, this is the next step for me is to run for office myself. And that's what I'm doing here today. I want to talk a little bit about um, the things that I would like to see happen in Indianapolis. I consider myself a very common sense candidate. And, I, and, and these are my common sense ideas. First of all, are my basic principles. I grew up in a large family that value family values. I believe the family is the building block of our society, the foundation, something we must defend. It is for that reason that I will continue the fight and re-energize the fight to see Hoosiers given the ability to vote to define marriage as a union between one man and one woman. First, I believe life must be protected from the moment of conception to the time of a natural death. It is the basic responsibility of government to defend and to protect life. And if we're not doing that, then how can we do anything else the government is to do? And if it is for that reason that any restriction that can be set up on abortion to limit the numbers that are done in this state, I will support. But there are some other issues, fiscal issues, that I'm concerned about. Here in St. Joseph County, I own a home. And all across the state, there's been a new law set in place that homeowners pay 1%, landlords pay 2%, and commercial and businesses pay 3%. Not so in St. Joseph County. In St. Joseph County, we all pay another half percent higher in property taxes than all other 91 counties in the state except for Lake County. I will work to make sure that the leadership in St. Joseph County is responsible we are tax dollars by removing that loophole that's been put in there and putting St. Joseph County back on the basic one, two, three plan. Further, <laughs> over the past few decades, we've seen an increase in taxes, an ever increase in taxes. From 1980 to 2007, we saw property taxes increase 350%. From 1973 to now, we saw sales tax increase from 2% to 7%. And what's happening in here is as, as the economy goes up, the state spends more. And when the economy drops down, they raise your taxes. And when the economy comes back up, they don't lower your taxes. So slowly, year after year after year, decade after decade, those taxes slowly get higher, which is why I would support a cap on state spending increases. policymakers in check here in our community. Uh, long before the Tea Party movement and the 912 groups, uh, you were out front in having our taxpayer backs. As a policymaker locally, I have stood shoulder to shoulder with the citizens for common sense on so many occasions over the past 10 years as we have battled our local variety of tax and spend politicians. Together we have fought the county option income tax, the county economic development tax, the wheel tax and the local option income tax, just to name a few. Though we were all successful, I stood with you as a leader in getting our word out to our community. And in fact, I was the only local elected official in St. Joseph County to draft a resolution opposing these taxes and the negative impact that they would have on our community. Now, as I go to the Red Bull 21st District, it seems that everybody wants to talk about one issue. 
against health care. The health care bill. Some will say that it's a federal issue and that we can't do anything about it. I reject that position. When this, when this unfunded mandate has the potential to cost every Hoosier $4,400 and to negatively impact our already strained state budget, then it is my job to stand up here and fight on the behalf of Hoosier families. And I will do it. I've already signed a pledge to repeal this health care reform, and I'm also calling on Attorney General Zeller to join in other states in suing on the grounds that this unconstitutional, unfunded mandate usurps our state sovereignty and, that, and also our individual freedoms. When elected, I will seek legislation to exempt and protect Hoosier families from this freedom eroding and economy killing and budget busting uh, bill. Hoosiers can and do do it better. This type of leadership is not new to the 21st District. We have been blessed to have two of uh, some very fine leaders here serving us for over 40 years. One elected, the Magnus Wolorski legacy will have a dedicated and a faithful and determined successor in me. My priorities for our community and for the state include job retention and creation, creating an environment that's conducive for economic growth, reducing taxes and streamlining local government and state government, and promoting Hoosier family values. I will work tirelessly, tirelessly to keep Indiana's 21st District moving by working. I have seen firsthand how government uh, regulation and bureaucracy restricts local businesses. In my own profession, I spend a good portion of my time seeing, uh, reacting to the seemingly uh, unending stream of government bureaucracy. Uh, you can count on me to ensure that the 21st District uh, will be a district that will, that the 21st District and the state of Indiana is a friendly place for new and existing businesses and uh, that I will fight this bureaucracy which comes at a cost of creating jobs and uh, productivity. Uh, since you don't gain employees by attacking employers, I will also fight any uh, legislation that emphasizes further government control over, over our business. I believe that we must ease the tax burden on our families. And the same bad legislative uh, ideas that, came, that brought about the Louisiana Purchase and the Cornhusker Kickback are also that same type of logic is alive here in the state of Indiana. As you just heard, my uh, opponent in the primary mentioned St. Joseph County was exempted and you now pay more than any other, any other county save for Allen County in the state of Indiana with our one, two, and three uh, property tax cap system. When I'm elected, we'll put the St. Joe County uh, property taxpayers back as a priority and on equal footing with the rest of the state. And I will put those tax dollars back to where they belong, in your pockets. I have the knowledge and experience to get these things done. I've served three terms on the Mishawaka County Council. And in those 10 years, Mishawaka has experienced record job growth with uh, new thousands of new jobs being created. And you also have in Mishawaka a local government that is reduced, yet more efficient, while offering services that are second to none. My passion for our community may not come through a speech, but you will see it in my service, whether at, as, at the uh, community bank, as the community reinvestment officer, on the board of the local Habitat for Humanity, whether coaching my sixth grade girls basketball team to a final four last week, or as I swing a hammer and have built over 25 homes for less fortunate people here and around the world. These are the types of things that I will continue to do, the passions that stir me. And my only motivation is to, is to pursue, and this pursuit is to give my energy, my experience, my commitment to serve this community that has given my family so much. These are critical times. We need to send a legislator to Indianapolis that is field tested. And I believe that I am that person. I will go there with the principal, experience, and leadership, ready to get things done on day one. Thank you. Thank you.